Hello and welcome back to another video. I hope the experience is joyful and pain free. I've already got a bag collection video on this channel and I've also got a shoe collection video. Now what don't I have? A jewellery collection video. That my lovelies is what we're gonna do today. Before I start, um, I there won't be any bracelets in this because I have skinny wrists and I have one silver bracelet that's kind of like shiny, pretty, that I go out and wear and everything like that. That's at my partner's at the moment anyway. But that's the one I stick to all the time when I want to have a fancier look. I don't generally wear bracelets because I have very thin wrists. It's difficult to find them that fit and even like small little like and with like small dainty ones I just think well they're cute but you can't see them so well and also some of them are quite delicate and I am not like good with delicate jewelry. <laughs> There's no bracelets today I'm sorry. We do have a savory collection of chokers and necklaces to show you today and I do hope that you enjoy. These are Taken from my collection, I have like a whole bunch of chokers, necklaces, and I've kind of narrowed this down to the ones that I absolutely love and that I wear all the time. Yeah, I just want to share those with you today. I will do my best to link where I got everything in the description box, so if you like the look of anything, hopefully there will be a link there where you can go and check it out. We're going to kick off with my Disturbia necklace, and this is the Amethyst sword necklace. I don't know, right, I don't know the exact names of everything that I have here. I'm really sorry, I just cannot remember everything, but as I say, the description box will hopefully help you out with that one. My Disturbia necklace, and this is a little amethyst sword. Let me see if I can get up closer. So we'll show you this on in a second, but I just wanted to try and get a nice close up of the dagger. It's a little dagger with an amethyst stone. And then if you can make this out here, it's two little dragon heads and this kind of like intertwined around the top of the dagger on the handle. And it's just so, so pretty. I love it. It's such a versatile little necklace. It's really, really versatile. This can look sort of fancy, dressed up for a night out, or you can match it with something casual and it just looks, it just gives it that something, it just means I get a lot of use out of it and I like that. I like to get a lot of use out of things. <laughs> there it is. See, it's so pretty, I love it. And it has this sort of delicate, fine jewellery look to it. You could wear this with like a plain black t-shirt and it would look so pretty with it as well, you know? So it doesn't have to be something that you wear with a dress up. Now we have some that I bought from Etsy. First one is this little moon necklace. So this is a full moon and then if you can see around the pendant sort of frame part of the necklace is like little stars in the center. This would look really cute with a dressed up outfit and something more casual as well. I personally like wearing this in the daytime. It's like my daytime necklace. This one's from Etsy as well and this is this is a fancy necklace for me. I wear it for fancy occasions oh, and I want to dress up just a little bit more, you know. absolutely adore this. It is just my favorite thing ever. It is Definitely one of my top favorite necklaces. I hope you can see why I love this so much. I mean, look at it. It's just this cute little bat with these like black crystals. It has two little stones on the clasp as well, which I thought was a really cute touch. It looks so pretty. It makes me feel fancy. And I love bats so much. I love black crystals and gems and stones a lot. So the two of them combined, I just, I think it's really, really super cute. Sticking to the necklaces I wear for fancy occasions, this one is actually from Shein and it is gorgeous and I love it so much and I paid like next to nothing for it. So what we have here is two moons and then a little rose in the center with some little leaves. Hopefully you'll be able to see the little sparkles on the moon. Look how cute that is. I love it so much. Oh my God. Everything from here on now is from Kilt Star. I don't know the name of this one, but this is a semi-fancy necklace that I would wear. I, could, I guess it's like it's like the dagger one in that you could dress it up, or you could wear it casually as well, and it still look really pretty. Two crescent moons, and then a little. If I turn it around, you can see it's like a little circle. Is it? I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a moon or a circle. 
And then we have a little like clear colored gemstone diamond situation. Michelle's description is flawless, as is the fuzz that is on her dress. This is one that I would wear during the day because it's a state, it's a bit of a statement necklace. It is a little crescent moon. It's a crescent moon with a little black bat going all across and then the chain. I love this, this is so cute. Uh, I'd wear this during the day. It's a more casual necklace, like fashion type one. And again, you know, I love it. I love it so much. It's nice, a nice statement piece that you can actually see when you wear and I like that. I like my jewelry to be visible. <laughs> I, just, I just feel like, you know, if you can see something a bit more, a bit better, then it makes, makes me feel like it looks better with my outfit. I don't know what I'm saying. Time to show you my chokers. I love chokers. At the moment, it is super hot outside and some of these chokers are really sweaty. So I probably wouldn't wear them when it's too warm outside just because it's wet to death and die. This is a newer one from Killstar and it has the Mercury uh, hardware symbol. And then we have like two straps going along and then at the back, it actually does up with some popper buttons, like so, sorry. So you can put it as loose or as tight as you want it there. It's very ni nice and sturdy and it's comfortable for the most part. Like I said, it's a bit, you know, it is a bit, it is full leather. So if you wear it in the heat, you know, obviously it's going to be a teeny bit sweaty, but I guess that little gap there might help a little, who knows. The last three I've got to show you are all the same, they're just in different colours. I cannot, I wish I could remember the names of these because it would be so much better if I could be like, and this is the so-and-so so-and-so joker and you know, it'd make me sound like I knew what I was doing. That would be nice for us all. So this is a crescent moon joker and it has four little eyelets and some nice little buckle there. All of them look like that. It's just they're all in different colours. Fancy looking as well, I think. So we have the, up close of the crescent moon. It's got the little studs going across. And then there's a little like, uh, what is that called? A little metal hardware situation. My flawless descriptions. I know, it's mind blowing. I do enjoy, you know, wearing pastel goth style sometimes as well. So when they when these came out in both pink and purple, guess what I did? So here it is in pink. It's the same buckle and eyelets and studs and everything, just different colors. So there it is in pink, baby pink. And then we have it in lilac right there. So cute, I love it. These are so comfortable as well. They're not like, don't feel like they're digging in, they're nice and soft and yeah, I can wear these a lot longer than most of my other ones just because they're a bit more comfy. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and what type of videos you'd like to see in future. That would be really amazing. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and yeah, I'll see you, I'll see you next week. Bye.